Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Wilmer, and today we're going to be looking at the measurement tool in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. And so quick note before we get started, this tool on the face of it, there's not that much complexity to it, but if you use geospatial PDFs, so that's a PDF with embedded GIS data, if you use these, you can unlock a lot more functionality with the measurement tool. Now, typically these geospatial tools, they'd be created in an external program like AutoCAD and uh, or like ArcGIS, and then you can bring them over into Acrobat Pro, and so it'll it'll embed these documents with some additional data that we can take a look at in the measurement tool. So, so over right here, I have two documents open. I have the standard Meridian file, the sample Word document, and we have a unique file specifically that I found for this demo, for this video. It's a map of Albania, and it has some embedded latitude, longitude data in there. But let's just take a look at what the measurement tool can do in a regular plain old PDF. So we have the measurement tools. So this allows measurements of distances and areas within a document. So we click into it. Now, over here on the right-hand side, we see that we have snap types. So what does this mean? So we can snap by path, snap by endpoint, snap by midpoint, or snap to intersection. So what this means is whenever we click like this, we can snap this to various other things, depending on which options we have. So right there, we, we didn't have any options selected. But if we zoom in, so if we snapped by endpoints, you could, let's say, notice that these little squares pop up in the corners of this little this little heading right here. Similarly, if we also select snap to path, then this little blank square follows our cursor as we move around. Uh, it again, same thing with snap to midpoints, but in the midpoint if we have a little triangle. So let's see this in action. So we're just going to measure from here to here and you can change the elevation of the measurement as well so you can change where you want this measurement to to be displayed so we just measured the whole heading right there and also but then if we use the halfway point we can then click right here so perfect so clearly that is the midpoint 3.06 is half of 6.12 so that's the measurement tool. We can also do this with the polygon tool, the perimeter tool. So you can measure the perimeter around a certain area. So you can double click to complete. And so this area is 8.32 inches long. And then we can do the same thing for finding the area. And then double click and it is 2.7 square inches. Alrighty, now let's take a look at this in the geospatial PDF. So we have to jump into the measure tool, use the measurement tool. And so there isn't quite anything to snap to within this document, but we can still measure and notice that because it has in the bottom right, it has the latitude and longitude tools. So if you if you go into Google Earth and you or Google Maps and you see, look up the latitude and longitude, so 40 by 21, by 22, it'll be around this area. And we can measure the distance from here to here in miles since it is embedded with that data. Similarly with the polygon tool, perimeter tool. Okay, but additionally with the geospatial PDF, so you can use the geospatial location tool. So if you right click, you can select marked a location and a little pointer pops up just like that. And this will be viewable within comments. This will be treated as a comment. These will all be treated as comments, in fact. So you can click this, and you can add some additional comments if you like. Click that, click that, and you can see where exactly these annotations have been made. So jump back into measure. And the last cool thing you can do with this is you can find a location. So you right click when you're in the geospatial location tool, right click, find a location, in the bottom right, you have the option to type in your latitude and longitude. Just going to type that in. And then a blue box will be around the lat and long that you selected, assuming you typed in a valid latitude and longitude for this map. And 
that's about all there is to this tool, really. So that's all there is for the measurement tool. Thanks for watching, everybody. And next time, we'll get into the fill and sign tools. And until then, take care.